In this video, I am very excited to present you Vana. Through Vana, you can chat with your SQL databases. It is quite accurate text to SQL generation with respect to large language models using retrieval augmented generation. The good thing is that you don't have to worry about any of the technical implementations of this RAG or LLM. All you need to do is to point your endpoints and you are all good to go. You can use your, their own sample data. You can use your own sample data. And another good thing is that it connects with most of the major databases. The way it works is quite simple. If you look at this block sort of diagram, here all we are doing is that we are placing this Vana at the middle. And then you can talk to any SQL database. You can talk to any vector database with respect to any front end. Now, if you have worked with these LLMs, you might know that whenever we ask a text or natural language question from these models or LLMs, this first gets converted into numerical representation or vector or embedding. These vectors are stored in a vector store or in a vector database, and there are heaps of them. So whenever you are talking with your own data with LLM, you have to implement all of this vector database. You have to take care of conversion of the text into vector but Vana takes care of it by itself so you don't have to worry about this vector store all you need to do is to select your vector store and it could be vector store of your choice it could be chroma db it could be um, pinecone it could be anything or it could be any open source local one you could use vana.ai's own vector store for it you could select any sql database including sql server oracle sql lite and there are heaps of them, including Postgres and stuff. For front end, you can use Slack, you can use Flask, and there are a few others too. You can use any LLM for it. You can use OpenAI, you can use Olava, Anthropic, Mistral. There are various endpoints. And it will mostly work with all of them. But from their repo, I got the idea that the best and recommended one is OpenAI. And that is, of course, a paid one where you have to. Um, create your own API key for, uh, with it. Okay, so that is one thing. Another thing, the way it works is quite interesting. So at the very core of it, Vana is a Python package that uses retrieval augmentation to help you generate accurate SQL queries for your databases using LLMs. That is all there is to it. Vana works in two steps. First, you need to train a RAG model on your data and then ask questions which will return SQL queries that can be set up to automatically run on your database. Now, when we say train a RAG model, it doesn't have to be anything technical, so don't worry about it. You're not really doing fine tuning or machine learning training. It's very simple and I will show you shortly. It's a small, simple Python method or function which you will use to train a RAG model on your data. And then second step, you just need to ask the question and this is going to use the reference corpus or data to generate SQL queries that can be run on your database. There are a few other diagrams to which you can check. So if you drill down a bit more into this train and ask uh, steps of Vana, on the left right side, we have train where we just give the model of our data definition languages, which are used to create table, alter table, that sort of stuff. And you can give it your SQL uh, documentation reference. From there, it converts it into numerical representations or embedding, and then stores the embedding and metadata into your vector store. And then after storing it into the vector store on the right hand side, whenever a natural language question is asked, that question is first convert gets converted into numerical representation, and then from the left it finds the similar uh, related DDL and reference SQL. It generates a prompt and then you can use that prompt to apply it on your destination database. Okay, now this is what Vana is. Let's go to my local system. Then we there we, we are going to install it and then we will play around with it. Let me take you there. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and the GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will highly recommend them. I will drop the link to their website and also I will give you a discount coupon of 50% which you can readily use anytime on a range of GPUs. 
okay so that said and done i will be using this jupyter notebook for this demo and i will be using openai so let's get started now for the purpose of this first uh, video and demo we'll be sort of using this remote hosted version of vana.ai and you can go to their website and sign up and then you can get started for free you just need to click here so as soon as you click here you just need to um, create your account with your email and then you will be good to go and once you sign up you will be presented with this screen and you can see that with your free plan you have gpt 3.5 turbo there is some daily token limit and then you can get the support the technical one from the discord channel if you like from here you can just give it any um, model name so you can just my dblm whatever you what you can do it i'm just clicking on create model and then you can just click on next again and then you will be presented with some of the billing options we are just going with the free of course but you can see that the other options are not that bad either one thing you would need to do is you need to grab your api key from the left so you just click here and then grab it from here and once you click on the left on the api keys you'll be presented with this screen you just need to take your mouse over your this black um, set of text box and then you will see your key so let me grab the key and then we will go back to our notebook and start seeing how actually it gets installed and works i'm back into my notebook and this is the whole thing which you need to run in order to install this vana and work with your sqlite database i'm just using their own example but of course you can use uh, any of your database here and i will be making more videos where you will, will be showing you how to use it with your own data but this is just to get you started so this is where you paste your api key and don't worry i'm going to reset this api key after this video in the first step we are installing this vana then we are importing the remote vana I'm just selecting their default model Chinook. If you remember, we created a MyDB LLM. You can use that one too. And then this is where you, we connect to the hosted SQLite. And the name is Chinook. This is the prompt we are asking. And it is going to be converted into vector database. And then from there, it is just starting a Flask application for GUI. So let me run it. It is going to install this one now and then it is going to run our application so let's wait you see a lot of things are getting installed let's wait for it to come back and it has finished installing if i scroll down you see it has generated some of the query from there and it has grabbed the data and then it has also returned the result of our query which we gave it to it and then this is where it has generated the even a graph in flask also our application is running here so if i click on this one there you go so this is our application with vana.ai where you can ask more questions and all you need to do is to just paste your question here you can uh, ask it which country has the most sales the center this thinking there you go so it just says that you know usa in this you can even download the csv and you can even do this summarization i'm not going to do it you can even create the function you can train it as a question sql pair let's not do it at the moment you see there are a lot of things which you can do it is sort of a co-pilot for sql queries and then there are a few functions which you can use from here if I, you click and create new function you can just create a function on the basis of this what are top sequels and then it will create a function for you you can save it so for the result connect you can see yes create function okay so it says that um because we are running it in colab that is why it is not supporting so if you're running it in the local environment then it will work so amazing amazing stuff uh, and when you click on this training data this is the training data which was used which we which we also saw in the logs where it is just has been trained on these sequels 
amazing stuff and just imagine whatever your sql application is you can just throw it here get it trained and grab the data out of it with your application so amazing stuff i think i'll be playing a more around with this one you can ask more questions and you can do a lot of things i think there is also a debugger if something goes wrong there you go these are the server logs it is running on coal app so it might not show it to you and there is no error at the moment here anyway so that's it guys let me know what do you think pretty cool and if you are also using it just for test purposes so if you want to reset your api keys just click here and it is going to reset it okay i'm already locked out so i will i just would need to sign in back and reset it that is fine so that's it guys let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching